Praise God, praise God, praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You know, Psalms 121 verses 7 and 8 says, The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going both now and forevermore. What a great promise we have here. Praise God. You see, these verses from Psalms 121 offer a powerful assurance of God's protection and care over our lives, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. The psalmist declares with confidence that the Lord is not only a temporary shelter, a temporary protector, a temporary provider, my God, but a perpetual guardian. In other words, a continual, always guardian who watches over every aspect of our lives, both now and forever. Praise the Lord. You know, as I was doing my devotion and I came across this man, it was so touching. And I pray and trust that it will be a source of strength and encouragement to you also. Praise God. Psalms 121 is often referred to as the Song of Ascents, a psalm that pilgrims would sing as they journeyed to Jerusalem. The road to the holy city was filled with physical and spiritual dangers, steep paths, bandits, and the harsh elements. In this context, as we read it, the psalm's words provide immense comfort and hope, reminding us travelers that true protection comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Yes, remember, we are also pilgrims. We're on a journey. We're in this world, but we are not of this world. We are sojourners. We are passing through. Can somebody praise the Lord? Glory be to God. No wonder the songwriter said, this world is not my home. You know, we're just passing through. You see, the promise that the Lord will keep you from all harm does not mean uh, that we will never face difficulties or challenges or we will never be tried or tested or we will never get hurt or we will never have a little pain here and there. No, that's not what it's about. Rather, it reassures us that God's presence is with us in every situation. Glory be to God. Yes, God's presence is with us in every situation, guarding us from ultimate harm and working all things together for our good. So even that situation, even that thing, that challenge, that circumstances, that thing that has you losing sleep at night, that thing that is bothering you, that thing that you don't know how it will work out, you don't know how it will be fixed. You understand? Just know that all things all things are working together for our good and for those that love the Lord. Yes, my friend, this divine protection is comprehensive, full comprehensive, fully comprehensive. Yes, my friend, covering our coming and our going, our ins and our outs, our ups and our downs. Oh my God, it is a phrase that symbolizes the entirety of our daily activities in life's journey. Yes, my friend, I don't know who this is for, but I'm also, you know, encouraging myself, praise God, as I sit here and I ponder, praise God, in Psalms 121, praise the Lord, glory be to God, hallelujah. You see, God's watchfulness is not limited by time, space, or circumstances. His care is constant, both now and forevermore, ensuring that we are never outside the scope of his loving gaze. He's always watching over us. Whether we are embarking on a new endeavor, facing uncertainty, which we all do from time to time, or simply going about our daily routines, we can trust that God is attentively watching over us, guiding our steps, and shielding us from all harm. Because we know that the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. But one thing we must be assured of is that our weapons, the weapons that we are using to fight the enemy, you know, they're mighty through God to the pulling down, to the destruction 
of every stronghold. Come on, somebody, and praise the Lord. Can somebody praise the Lord? Get in the comments area and just leave me a, 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 a word of encouragement. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Because I know that you needed this word. This is a Rima word. This is a no word. Praise God. Yes, my friend, this promise invites us to live with confidence, peace, and assurance, knowing that the Lord, who never slumbers, who never sleeps, is actively involved in our lives. You know, through the good times, through the bad times, you know, when we're smiling, when we're sad, when we have it, when we don't have it, when we're sure, when we're unsure, he's right there with us and he's involved in every aspect of our lives. You know, as I close this, it encourages us to continue to trust in his divine protection, to rely on his guidance and to find comfort in his unceasing presence. Praise the Lord, glory be to God. Let us pray. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, right now as I come before you, Father, I thank you for the assurance of your constant protection, guidance, and care over each and every one of us, Father God. Today I'm so grateful. We are so grateful, all of us, even those that are listening to me. We are so grateful that you watch us over our lives with an everlasting love guarding our every step and shielding us from all harm. Father God, help us to trust you more. Help us to trust in your promises. Help us to wait on you. Help us to depend upon you. Oh God, forgive us of our trespasses and help us to forgive those, all those who have trespassed against us, Lord. Knowing that you are with us in every moment, guiding and protecting us, providing for us, shielding us. Oh God, being our comforter, oh God, hallelujah. Today I ask you, Father God, depending on what time someone may be listening to this, today, tonight, this afternoon, give us the confidence to face each day, oh God. For sometimes, you know, it is so challenging. Sometimes, many times, Father God, we, we really don't know what to do, where to go. But give us that assurance, continual assurance, that we can come to you, knowing that you are watching over our coming in and our going out, both now and forevermore. You know, in times of uncertainty, Almighty God, in times of fear and doubt, remind us of your presence and the security that we have in you. Lord, today I ask not for silver or gold. Lord, I'm not asking for things, oh God. But I ask that you, oh God, just continue to be with me and my family. Continue to be with my brothers and sisters. Continue to be with those who are listening even right now, Father. Bless them. May our lives reflect the peace that comes from trusting in your protection, your provision. Help us, Father God, to walk in faith always, knowing that you are our keeper and our constant guide. And Father God, I ask these things in no other name, but in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father God, hallelujah. I thank you for hearing and answering my prayers today, our prayers today, in Jesus' name, amen. And may everybody say amen. And if you have been wonderfully blessed, I humbly ask of you, if you have not done so as yet, to hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. You know, that's all I ask of you. Hit subscribe. And please hit all on the little bell. It's important that you hit all on the little bell. Now, some of you might have subscribed, but you've never hit all on the little bell. Hit all on that little bell because that's how you know when I post something or when I'm on live. You will get that notification right away. You understand? And so God bless you. And I pray and trust that you'll have a wonderful day, wonderful night, afternoon or morning, whatever time it is. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.